Dude, it's like a little house. It is a little house. Wow, it comes with a, a free tree branch. They gotta remove that, or is that on you? Um, did you see the bathroom? Do I want to? I think so. That what? <laughs> That's wild. Here we are, Upper East Side. Great neighborhood, lots of affordable places. Affordable for New York. Delis, coffee houses, parks, and authentic Mexican cuisine. Anyways, we're seeing a ton of apartments today. This is where you're taking me, right here? Don't judge a book by its cover. What does this little tiny house cost? 6400 6400 Hey, it's a loft studio duplex with four rooms. Is that ours? That is ours. Great backyard. Are they going to clean it or is that on you? No. We're going to start a fire and we're going to have some lunch. A fire? With mushrooms. mushrooms. And, um, Do you mean marshmallows? Marshmallows. Sorry. I thought there was a typo in there somewhere. There was a typo. Jokes aside, this is an awesome little private backyard. And I think these branches came from this tree. It's the only tree. And it doesn't have too many branches left because they're all down here. Oh, oops. And that door and this door are both into this same apartment, which means after you sweep this out, it's going to give you a lot of options for how you set this up. I'll put a grill right over here and I'll have like a nice setup over here. Maybe like a little gazebo. A biotome greenhouse? Whoa, is that a hose? We have water access. That means you are gonna be able to put plants out here and provide for them. Guess what else I threw in? What? A fire extinguisher. Interesting layout. This is the living room, I think, because we haven't checked out the downstairs yet. But this is 20 feet by 10 and a half feet. Where Charles is, you could put a table. And luckily, the door to the outside, since it only comes out that much, entertainment center. And then put your couch here and leave a little space for the closet. Oh, like a couple of feet so you can get in and you can still watch stuff. And look, we got a tiny little dishwasher. Now that was too hard. This is how you open a microwave. Ta-da! This is how you close a microwave. Dude, if I don't stress test these apartments, how do we know it's gonna hold up for whoever rents one? But it has full-size stuff. You have this huge marble countertop. What do you think? Two stools right there? You can get three stools underneath there. Decent amount of prep space, including this little island. And we have an exciting view inside the building. Oh, look at that! That's a power! My city here, our bathroom, has a stand up shower. This is actually the nicest room we've been in so far. Although, look at the position of the handle. It's like kind of not really lined up. It's almost like they wanted it over here. This is traditional. Don't turn it on by accident. It's gonna spray you right in the face. It has a combo unit laundry. It had a 10 year warranty that expired 10 years ago. Did you see the bathroom? Do I want to? I think so. You got what? <laughs> That's wild. I've never seen that before. I haven't seen that before. The landlord was like, let's make it a luxury bathroom by putting in two sinks. And the workers who were at Home Depot were like, okay, let's just buy two pedestals. Could two roommates brush their teeth here at the same time? I think so. Our shoulders are touching. Look at that, if I'm, if I'm right-handed and he's left-handed, Hey. My dentist is gonna kill me because I'd be brushing all over the place. That's right. We got a little privacy frosted window, some super bright vanity lights, medicine cabinet, wooden toilet seat. Wooden. Oh, that gives it some character. The wand, the faucet. Full size bathtub. Now we do have four windowless rooms down here. These are technically rooms because they have no windows. That's why it is called a duplex studio loft with four rooms. Bedroom number five. Also, all of these have split unit heaters and ACs. Our little house apartment here, this whole thing is like a massive technicality, right? Like the landlord knows people are sleeping down here. Lights in all the closets, wires. And if four people are sharing this, that's 1,600 each because the rent's 64. You bringing me to a rich man's building or something? Oh, my building is, man. This 
This is like the best kind of building. Old school luxury, little recycling center. And you know all these posters were in abandoned in somebody's apartment. Having a laundry room in your building is way better than a combo unit in the actual apartment. Speed Queens, Value Adder Plus, commercial washers and dryers, they will save you so much time. You can even wash your rug in one of these. The rug for your dog. What floor is the apartment? It's gonna be on the first floor. Oh, really? This place is like a massive box. With some outdoor space. 3,200. Really? 2032. 21 feet by 12 feet. That extra couple of feet, that makes all the difference. It has to be over here. Okay, keep it away from the door, put it right here. Yeah, that's right. Out here we can have a dining table. I didn't measure that area. TV over here, couch, desk. Definitely very functional. To keep you cool in the summer, we got ourselves an AC with a high-tech beige remote. This right here is the outlet where you can plug it in and then that's your heater. There's also a little secret hiding place right here under the stairs. What the heck is that for? Is there some valve under there or something? I feel heat coming out of here. That's the knob to adjust the heater. Whoa, look at that. The fence here is cut away and there's another apartment down there in a totally different building. Looks like it's empty, it might be for rent. This place comes with a serious backyard. That's our apartment with our door and notice the neighboring apartments do not have doors to come out here, which makes me wonder how these kids' bikes are here for some reason. Because look, there's another fence, there's no door. You're the only one with access to this. My guess is these are abandoned. What would you do with all this space? It's big, it's bright, it's quiet, but it's not really private. Because you know, your neighbor's windows are right there. Go to home. Depot, get some sort of fence thing right here to kind of close this in. Grow some flowers, trap some rodents, and maybe get a little table like what these folks got going on over there in their backyard. It ain't no backyard in Ohio, but it's better than most New York apartments. Best boring kitchen ever. I say that because even though none of this looks exciting, that's full size, that's full size. Same deal with the microwave. The last renter had a label maker that they used on the oven. Water pressure, sink sprayer, outlets over here, outlets over there. For a compact kitchen, this is actually really good. And all the cabinets are reachable. Next to the front door, we got your jacket closet. Closets. One, two, three, four closets in this hallway. In the comments, five closets in a studio or one closet in a one bedroom? Let me know. I like this bathroom. We got good storage up in here, vanity lights. And look at this, on the other side of the door, we've got a foggy looking uh, shower door. This will protect your privacy while you're in the tub. You know there's a two bedroom in here. This is huge. How many square feet do you think? Maybe 1,300. 24 feet by 21 feet. So that's your kitchen nook. Just outside of it, you could have some storage. I would do a table setup over here and then have the den over here. Look at how far away the food would be. You're gonna get hungry going from the couch to the dinner table. Free AC. What direction are we facing? We are facing south, my friend. Oh, nice. We got a old folks home over here with a little golf course outside. Uh. No, it's a quiet street. That right there is 2nd Avenue, right there on the corner. I would mount the TV here. Then you could have an L couch in the corner and a couple of chairs. Closet space here looking pretty good. We've even got uh, some free internet equipment stuck up in there. Whenever you see that, somebody's credit card just got charged a couple hundred dollars for not returning it. Best fridge so far. Is it three dimensional? It is three dimensional. Look at that. And you got dimension one here for your frozen steaks, dimension two down here for your ice maker. Look at that. But not a dimension to break my stuff, right? Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Good, man. Check it out. It's being previewed. Got ourselves a nice big looking oven, decent microwave, even a full size dishwasher. I put that in there. You put that in there? Yeah, I put that in there. What's the landlord charging for this again? Um, 7400 plus. It's worth it. Hey Charles, I see something wrong with this apartment. Are you referring to the wash and dry in the room? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? 
It this, is. This would have been a great closet, but you know what? At the end of the day, wouldn't you rather have the laundry? Overall, this room's gonna be nice and quiet. We're facing the back of the building. Got some 5G cell phone towers over there. This is excellent, 10 by 14. And the second room is through another hallway of closets. Look at this. Street view of the old folks' mansion. And this is 18 feet long, so much bigger. And the closet is, oh wow, whoa. This could be a bedroom. This would fit a twin size mattress. All of these apartments have such good closets. Look, the hallway has more storage, 10 out of 10. Now what's the deal? One bathroom is over there. We have an ensuite. They are fulls. One is a stand-up shower, one has a bathtub. I like how this one comes with a sweatshirt and a cell phone charger and uh, an iced coffee. Probably for the workers who renovated this. That's also why we have the magic carpet of paper on the floor. Is this where you're taking me? This little palace right here? The building is currently undergoing renovation for all the gas pipes. And uh, that's probably why the fridge is in the middle of the living room. But it's plugged in. I feel like eventually that's gonna make its way back over here. It is a studio, my friend. 2850. Really? Really. I like the fireplace. That gives it some soul. The haunted souls of all the people that lived here. And this is like the wackiest kitchen I've ever seen. Now my guess is the fridge is gonna go in this hole back here. And this is probably where the gas pipes are, up in here somewhere. Stove is gonna go here. So if you're gonna make something, you get your food out of the fridge, you tiptoe all the way over here, and then you can boil your ramen noodles right here. Sink looks okay. Got mediocre pressure. Granite countertop. Why would you tiptoe over there? Because bro, I'm a little bit freaked out by the fireplace. Is that okay? Um, no, you need to be comfortable in your own home. Little shelves, I guess you could put a vase or something on there. And I feel like some stools right here would make this like a functioning breakfast counter. Such a bizarre kitchen, but you know what? I'll take it. Because the living room's shaped like a nice big box. 15 and a half by 14. I would put the TV right on top of that fake fireplace. Then I would have a couch right about here and then my bed in the corner. This setup assumes that's your kitchen table. Storage is looking pretty good. We got ourselves a nice big closet with a little light up in there. And I love these old school windows. Yeah, it's kind of weird because the paint's like that and the thing's a little foggy, but look, man, we're looking out at the street. Looks kind of cool. Plus, I don't know if you need a curtain because if you can't see out, no one can see in. It comes with a curtain. Oh yeah, right there. It's got character. You can make this look really cool. Kind of a tight squeeze to get into the shower. But once you're in here, this thing is gonna blast you with rain. And look at this, from inside the shower, you could brush your teeth in the sink. Why you wouldn't do that in the shower, I don't know. This is what it's like with the door closed. The building here is also amazing. Just listen to the noise. That's your feet on the old stairs. I like how it's been MacGyvered into position so it doesn't fall down. This building fancy. Look at this cute little tenant lounge we got down here. Looks like a little movie room or something where you can become friends with your uh, building mates. There's also a little library. We've got the constitutional law up in here. A little bit of electronic surveillance going on. Is this building violating my constitutional rights? You know what, that book, book should stay here. The landlord should read it. Solid laundromat. Washers, dryers. Going with the Maytags. Instead of the Speed Queens. See, this is what happens. Oh, this is a Hercules, that's different. Old Herc, out of service. Card activated, hand sanitizer. If you run out of detergent, there you go. Ooh, you stuck? What is this? Dust barrier? Whoa! It's like a loft. It is 74.50. Two bedroom, two bathroom. And it's huge. The reason it's so bright is because we're facing south right now. And look, we are so much taller than all these little other buildings up here, except for those. It's so bright out, I couldn't even see those other buildings. None of the interior lights in this massive living room slash dining room are on. Everything's off right now. From the char rolls to the wall, we got 25 by 12. Wait, I'm sorry, 25 by 18. 18 feet wide. <laughs> look at that little cabinet. I feel like this is for hats and mittens and stuff because it's right by the door. Next to that, you could have a bench for your shoes, coat closet. 
Oh, look at that. It's like a walk-in coat closet. Check that out. Probably have like a six-person table right here, entertainment center. And with this column, you could line up some seating around it and kind of have like a movie corner. What a nice kitchen. It's bigger and more powerful than anyone imagined. The freezer is minus six, the fridge is 40. I love how the counter space kind of snakes around. That's gonna be useful for tons of appliances. And if you actually cook, this is a kitchen that you can actually use. Look at all this room right here. Microwave, does it have a little light? Yes, it does. All these under cabinet lights are really nice. I'm thinking of putting these in my apartment. Look at just how easy it is to see what you're doing, especially in the evening. And we have like an entire wall of cabinets. One of them even happens to be a built-in pantry. Oh, sorry. Can I just take a quick peek at this room? I don't need to stay in here for very long. Okay, it's really big. It's really sunny. Is that a bathroom back there? It is. It's a full bath. Oh, and there's a sink out here in the hall. Look at that. That means you could clean yourself before you go into the bathroom if you're in that worse of shape. I guess this is the primary bedroom, this guy right here. Right, let's, let's get out of here so they can finish. Thank you. that built-in dresser. This is a really good bedroom. 14 by 12. If you want that sunshine in your face, I will put the bed over here. Okay. And my TV over here. That's a lot of light though. So maybe if you're a vampire, put your bed over here. Or, or what? Or, if you're not a vampire, you could just, I don't know, cash, you can be alone. <laughs> but the best thing about this apartment is that that other room that we saw is way over there on the other side of the column. That means you can do whatever weird stuff you want over and here. You can do whatever and you want. Your roommate won't know what a whack job you are and that you guys probably shouldn't be living together. Just outside this room right here, we've got what's gonna probably end up being a linen closet. And then we have this bathroom, which you're probably gonna be able to use most of the time. Yes, it is in the hallway, which means guests will use it when they visit since it's not in the bedroom. But both of these bathrooms are pretty nice, man. We got like the high-end finish. Pressure's okay. No medicine cabinet. But look at this, we got plenty of storage down here. Things are nice and clean. Guys, Charles only has 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. Check out his YouTube channel. Right here's the link. Rent one of his apartments. I'll see you in the next video.